Well, it's that time again. Let's take a look at how I did in May and look at my plans for June. Hey Book Dragons, I'm glad you're here. Today we're going to be doing my monthly update. Before we get started, please make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my channel, join my Discord if you want to talk about all the fun stuff I'm sharing with you today. I've got lots of great content over on the Discord, a lot of channels that we can chat about books on, so check it out. I'd love to have you. I had a decent month in May. I didn't accomplish all the books that I wanted to get to in May, but I got all except one. So I, I consider that a win. I think that's doing pretty good. And so we'll talk about all the books that I read. Uh, we will talk about some of the shows and movies I watched. We'll talk about some board games that I played, and then we'll get into the month of June. Sound good? Here we go. And uh, on go the... Uh, the extra eyes <laughs> you know the drill so uh may i had planned to read six books i read tohanu which is book four in the earth sea cycle by ursula k le guin and i'm just loving earth sea guys this is such a magnificent series the, the books just keep getting better honestly i'm completely impressed with Ursula K. Le Guin's writing and character work and world buildings. So I have a feeling that after I finish Earthsea, I will be continuing on to read some of her other books. I also read Cunning Folk. This was my patron pick this month. It's kind of a psychological horror. I would classify it as the money pit meets the dark and creepy neighbors who practice dark magic. It's it's just a lot of fun. I, I really quite enjoyed it, and I'm glad I got to read it as my patron pick. I also read Alloy of Law by Brandon Sanderson. This is book one in Mistborn Era 2. Uh, you can check out my review for this book. I will link it in the cards at the end of the video if you would like to go and watch that video. But long story short, I absolutely loved it. I like Mistborn Era 2 better than Mistborn Era 1, at least so far. Uh, the next book I read is Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. Uh, Travis is a well-known audiobook narrator and... He wrote his first book, I, I think it came out last year or maybe a couple years ago. And everybody on BookTube just absolutely fell in love with this book. Everybody said, oh, you need to read this book. And I finally got around to it. And I can wholeheartedly chime in with everybody else on BookTube saying that this is a must-read book. It's just a super delightful cozy low stakes fantasy and I, I just absolutely adored this book in fact I'm willing to go on record saying that this was my book of the month Le Legends and Lattes absolutely nailed it for me uh, I will be doing a full review of Legends and Lattes spoiler free of course uh, but keep your eye out for that okay that will be coming up in probably another week here so Stay tuned for that. And then I also read The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. This is the first book in her Great Cities duology. I just absolutely loved this book. It takes place in modern day. It's an urban fantasy where all of the boroughs of New York select their own avatars to come up against a foe that is trying to destroy the heart and spirit of New York. And it's just a fantastic read, guys. Uh, I will hopefully be doing a review on that one as well in the future, but I'm going to wait until I read the second book, and then I'll just do both of them together because I feel like that's the best way to do it justice because it is one cohesive story. So once I've read book two, which is called The World We Make, I will be doing a review of that one as well. And that was all the books that I read in May. I had planned to read a sixth book. Uh, that would be Postern of Fate 
by Agatha Christie. That is the final book in the Tommy and Tuppence Quintet. I did not get to that book, guys. I had a lot going on in May. I took a trip to Chicago to see some friends. I took my daughter to the Grand Canyon for her birthday. I, I just, I had a lot going on. So I didn't get a lot of reading done. Or, or at least not all the books that I had planned on anyway. And I didn't get to any electives either. But that's okay. Because I had a blast. I'd never been to Chicago before, so that was my first time there. And I'm very happy with what I got accomplished amidst all my travel and busyness for the month. So let's talk about what I watched in May. I did, of course, continue watching Sherlock Holmes with my daughter. She's continuing to love the series, which makes me so happy. I'm glad she loves it as much as I do. And then my son came home for summer break from college. He completed his first year of college. And so we've been watching other shows together as, uh, as a family. Uh, we started watching Boba Fett together, uh, which I, I know Boba Fett's been out a while, but we haven't watched it yet. So uh, we had some family friends over and we started watching Boba Fett together. My son and I have been watching The Spectacular Spider-Man together, which I remember watching a long time ago when my kids were younger, but it's on Disney Plus now, and so he and I have been re-watching the Spectacular Spider-Man cartoon series, and that's that's been a lot of fun. Uh, and then we're also close to finishing Kaleidoscope. That's the Netflix original series. We will eventually complete it. It's just with my daughter's work schedule and all of life going on this month. We didn't quite get to finish it, but we will probably be finishing it soon. And then I got to play some board games uh, just the other day. I only got to play board games once this month, and I got together with some friends. I had given them Splendor for a Christmas gift, which is one of my favorite games of all time. And they love it so much that they wanted to play three rounds of Splendor. So we, we sat down at a local coffee shop. It's actually a local independent bookstore called Changing Hands, but this particular location has a book bar inside where you can get alcoholic beverages or coffees or pastries or what you know whatever you want there. And they have some snack foods as well. So we got some coffee and pastries and just sat down and played board games for two or three hours, and it was a lot of fun. So yeah, we played Splendor three times, and they introduced me to a new game called Reef, which has similar gameplay components to Splendor, but it's a little bit different as well. So you're you're basically building different kinds of coral reefs, and you, you get points for how many reefs are, are stacked on each other. So uh, yeah, it, it was a lot of fun. I really, really enjoyed it. I think I would have to play it again to, to really get it down so that I feel like I'm fully comfortable with it, but it was easy to pick up because I was already familiar with Splendor, so that was a lot of fun. For Chasm Friends, I did not have any this month. The one person I had lined up for Chasm Friends this month had something come up at the last minute and we weren't able to make it happen, so I didn't try to uh, squeeze anybody in last minute. I just said, well, you know, maybe I'll double up in June. And I do actually have two Chasm Friends episodes lined up in June. So stay tuned for more information on that, okay? So now let's talk about what I'm reading in June. And the first book I want to talk about on this list is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. That's right. You heard me. I am starting the Live Ship Trader series. I'm so excited to finally be getting to this. I've heard so many good things. I've heard this is one of the best trilogies in the realm of the Elderling Saga. And I enjoyed the Farseer trilogy, although the last book wasn't totally great for me in a lot of ways. I, I've heard that the Live Ship Traders is just a stellar series. So uh, I can't wait to get to that. I'm going to be buddy reading that with my good friend Danielle over at Bookkara. And also, my good friend Mona Lisa Reads, she's going to be hopefully coming in and catching up with us on that book. So the, the goal is for the three of us to read that together. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I'm also going to be reading The Prophet of Edan by Philip Chase. 
This is the second book in the Adan trilogy, and I was blown away by the first book. It got stellar marks from me. It does not feel like a self-published book. It feels like I was reading a book that's put out by the, the big five publishing houses, right? It's just, it's super high quality, well edited, such a wonderful story, and I can't wait to see where he goes in The Prophet of Edan. That book comes out June 21st, I believe, so make sure you guys get it on your list. If you've read The Way of Edan, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't yet, you really need to check out The Way of Edan and then pick up The Prophet of Edan. I'm super excited about it. And then the next book I'm going to be reading is Piranesi. This is a booktube darling written by Susanna Clark. Everybody, almost with no exception, raves about Piranesi. So from what little I know about it, I think it's going to be right up my alley and I, I can't wait to see what it's like. Uh, I've heard a few negative things here or there, but the overwhelming majority of reviews I have seen just absolutely love Piranesi. So stay tuned. I will be talking more about that. And then I'm also going to be reading The Liar's Knot. This is the second book in the Mask of Mirrors trilogy, which I can't remember the name of, so I'm just calling it the Mask of Mirrors trilogy. I loved Mask of Mirrors. I buddy read that with my good friend Angie the Bookaholic. And I am going to be buddy reading this next book with Angie as well. We just really had a blast talking about the Mask of Mirrors together. So we're going to follow it up and read The Liar's Knot. And then I think maybe the end of this year, the third and final book in the trilogy comes out. Uh, or maybe it's not till next year, but it, it's on its way. So... Super excited to read that one. And then the final book I'm going to be reading, at least that I'm planning to read, is Postern of Fate by Agatha Christie. Final book in the Tommy and Tuppence Quintet. And of course I plan to read that in May, but it just didn't happen. And I'm buddy reading this with my good friend Mona Lisa Reads. So stay tuned for more on that. Uh, I'm really excited to see how this quintet finishes up. And then uh, let's talk about what I'm going to be watching in June. We are going to the movie tonight, opening night, for Across the Spider-Verse. That's the second Spider-Verse movie, and I'm so excited, guys. I was just blown away by Into the Spider-Verse, and Across the Spider-Verse looks to be exponentially far and above Into the Spider-Verse. So if that's the case, I can't wait. I, I'm just super excited to see what they've done with this next installment in the animated movie series. And I've heard rumors that maybe it might tie into the MCU a little bit. Maybe. So we shall see. I, I don't know that for sure, but I, I'm excited to see what it does. And then, of course, we are planning to finish Kaleidoscope uh, this month. Uh, my my kids and I have been watching that. It's kind of been a slow go for us trying to find time to watch it. But the plan is to watch Kaleidoscope and finish it out. And then we're also going to be watching more of Boba Fett. I don't know if we'll finish it, but I have a feeling we will. So maybe you'll see me back at the end of the month saying that I finished the, the book of Boba Fett. So... Uh, we shall see there. So that that's it, guys. That's kind of a, a quick summary and wrap-up and uh, planning for the month of June. Let me know what you read in the month of May. And also let me know what you're planning to read in June. And uh, maybe you watched some shows and movies and played some board games, too. That's awesome. Let me know that. I'd love to hear about it. Until next time, guys. Make sure you read more books. I'll talk with you soon.